and immediately saw a faint line. I start sobbing. Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I never really vlog on Sundays, I don't know. Maybe I do, I don't feel like I do, but it's Sunday. I vlogged yesterday, we went out to breakfast, we looked for counter stools at some furniture stores, no luck, um, check out that vlog if you wanna come furniture shopping with us. But I just got back from a Whole Foods pickup because you guys know I usually do it on Monday, but like we are out of so much. So I decided to do it today. So let's start this day off with a grocery haul. There was so much, like we're out of, <laughs> we're out of like all of our basics. So um, we've got avocados, bananas. Oh, nothing's better than what's a good, a good group of bananas. Oh, I have another bag in the car too. Um, Cause I ran into stop and shop. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. <laughs> There was one thing I forgot to get. I had to go to Stop and Chop because I don't sell it at Whole Foods. Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. But you know what? There was a really nice old lady <laughs> behind me and she was asking me about the green juice I was buying and it was really cute and it definitely threw me off because I had to ask for trash bags at the cashier, but that's okay. We can go back. <laughs> I got Yar's orange juice. I got us a little thing of milk because even when we get a half gallon, it like always goes bad, but like sometimes you just like need regular milk. Got some strawberry Chobani. This is our oat milk. Yar uses oat milk, I think, for his coffee. These are on sale, which is always a score. Pirate's Booty individual packs. Oh my God, this, <laughs> this bag is so small. Oh, I didn't know this was shredded. I meant to just get like a normal bagged romaine. And it's also like kind of rotten. I might. I might ask for a refund on that. Then I got some um, mini cucumbers. I eat cucumbers a lot as a snack. And in salads, I got a couple of zucchini for dinner this week. I'm gonna make like um, just chicken rice and some baked zucchini. A lot of the time when I'm like, just like, I don't know what I wanna cook for dinner and I just wanna do something easy, I just do like a marinated or well-seasoned chicken, some rice and vegetable. <laughs> Keep it simple. But I've definitely been on a zucchini kick. Uh, we ran out of frozen broccoli. I always just buy like a big bag of it for the freezer and you'd be surprised how long it will last. I also got some frozen strawberries for smoothies and sweet potato puffs um, for our turkey sloppy joe casserole. I put those on top instead of like regular tater tots and the sweet potato is so good. Got a bunch of oranges, one red onion. We got a bunch of lean ground turkeys and I think they were on sale, yes. Again, a little pro tip, um, if you ever wanna do like the Whole Foods order through Amazon, um, through Prime, that's what we do most of the time. And like every week, I believe it's every Wednesday, they add new sales. So I always shop the sale section first like this week, Rayo's was on sale and like their sauce is pricey, but so good. This is Yar's favorite. This was also on sale um, in the prime section. So Bark Thins, he loves these. Like it's his after dinner snack. He likes the pretzel ones. Family size was on sale. Yes, it's a score. I also got stuff to make um, the frozen like snicker dates that I used to make because Yar misses them and requests them and I, I love them too. You just like cut a date, put in a little bit of peanut butter, chopped nuts, um, cover it in like uh, chocolate chips. I get the Lily's, like less sugar chocolate chips and kind of melt that, put it in, freeze them. We ran out of adobo. We've been buying this one from a brand called Louisa, but um, we ran out and I needed it like now. <laughs> they only have it online. So uh, I got some refried beans. We always have grated parm in the house. We ran out. You know the drill, a little rice pilaf. Oh, these are the chocolate chips I get to make the little snicker dates because they like taste like Snickers. Um, that's just like what people say. They're kind of their own thing in my opinion, but they're so good. Um, so these are sweetened with stevia for less sugar, but they taste just as good as regular chocolate chips. And then here is a bunch of turkey breast. Turkey breast, oh my God, chicken breast. <laughs> Listen, you can judge me all you want, but I did buy some pre-cut fruit this time around. Um, I got pineapple chunks, and then I also got pre-cut kiwi. 
bunch of kiwi. These are kind of like my two favorite fruits right now. Ancient grain pizza dough, the best. Egg whites and cream cheese. Told you it was a big grocery order, y'all. I told you. So that is what we got. I'll be back later to make these with you guys because I haven't made them in a while and maybe you are new here and you might want to try these because they're so yummy. All right, I'm going to put all this away and I'll check back in. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you guys how I make these. So I have this bag melting. We have some peanut butter and then I had um, these in the cupboard. So I just chopped up about, I don't know, a quarter of this can that was left. So I have this all chopped and it's so simple. I've definitely showed this many times, so I'm sorry if this is boring. So yeah, you just take a date. These are pitted already. Open it up. We're gonna take just a tiny bit of peanut butter and then I just like dip it in the nuts, close it up. It's definitely not like perfect at all, um, but once you close it up, just roll it in the chocolate and then I put them on like a pan with a sheet of parchment and then freeze them and then once they're frozen I put them into a baggie so I start with like getting them all set like this and then I dip them all at once just because it's easier hi Bubba we just went outside we just took a nice little walk or the dates were in the freezer how are you today how are you today okay the dates are all set they are kind of always a hot mess <laughs> that's why freezing them is awesome because like they honestly just make no sense they're, they're not easy to make in my opinion i probably should like freeze the first step before i dip it in chocolate i think they'd come out less messy but you know it works they, they're fine you know yar usually pops the whole thing in his mouth and lets it like melt so anyway yeah they're really good let me know if you give them a try good morning happy monday I literally just started filming and spilled my whole water on the floor. So that was fun. It's definitely a Monday kind of Monday, if I'm being honest. We'll talk more in a little bit. Um, we're gonna go work out because I desperately need endorphins right now. Today's not giving. <laughs> Okay, take two. Let's not spill this one on the floor. Okay, I think we need more caffeine. <laughs> I'm trying a new flavor of Alani. Well, new to me. I feel like I see everyone drinking the juicy peach flavor, so I got some. It's pretty good. I definitely like this one. I'm trying to think what my favorite flavor of Alani is, but I, I do like this. We need some energy, but it's arm day. We're gonna work the upper body. I got some new buff bunny leggings these have ribbing they're so cute comfy um i love their leggings so i got an xxl and they're a little falling down so i think i'm gonna get an xl next time but def try their leggings they're super good my discount code is fearless but let's go work out i'll take footage if it's not too busy but it's probably gonna be busy because i'm going late and it's monday people on monday they're at the gym okay also this is really funny so i <laughs> I swear I need supervision. So I bought um, another pair of hokas. I showed them like a vlog or two ago. And I was like, I'm just gonna buy the same ones I already have because I love them in white. My cute little beige ones that got all dirty in Montreal. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get them. <laughs> I'm gonna splurge because these were not cheap. And <laughs> Yarman looks at them, he goes, babe. <laughs> Those are not the same shoes you have. These are the Bondi's. I had the Clifton's. I thought, I don't know. I simply don't know. But I will say I already had worked out in these um, last week when I filmed a workout with me video and they were fine. Um, they are just much, much more cushiony. Like the cushion on these is thick. I'm pretty sure it's like their thickest cushion um, versus the... <laughs> The Clifton's, which I already had, but it's so funny. <laughs> I bought the wrong sneakers. But hey, now I can attest to the fact that I like both the Bondi and the Clifton from Hoka, um, but both in classic 10 wide. So yeah, <laughs> to the gym. I have no idea, idea? 
idea idea why the gym was so busy maybe because it feels like really nice out i don't know it definitely feels like spring it's 60 degrees today but like we're gonna get snow next week i new england i can't with you i really can't so um, i just stopped to get gas my workout was really good like my workout was exactly what i needed it's just like it was one of those days where i just did not feel like working out whatsoever but like as i was on the elliptical i just like oh i came alive i started feeling more positive um it's just for just try to force yourself if you can because you will feel better after <laughs> and during um arm workout was good feeling like jello but we love that um so i'm actually meeting up with some friends for lunch today um you guys know abby and alexis i haven't seen them in a minute but we're trying to be better about like meeting up for lunch just because you know adult life gets a little bit busy last night i took a full shower, washed my hair, blow dried my hair, curled my hair, which I don't know why. I just had a weird urge to do so. I also got this cute little necklace on Etsy. It has like an A and a Y and a heart in the middle. It's really cute. Um, I'll link it if you want to get one. Cause I always like love a dainty necklace that you can kind of just like leave on. Um, but I don't know if I'll leave it on. I don't know, but it's cute. It's dainty, just something to have on. So let's have a little heart to heart chat here. Um, I, I debated even talking about this, but you know what? I have seen so many people comment about how they're grateful that I share my TTC journey and just like the the parts of it, the good, the bad, the ugly, the crying, um, <laughs> full, full transparency. I've had a rough few days. I'm trying not to like symptom spot any anymore throughout the months, like where I'm like, oh, I feel a tingle, a flutter. I feel... This, you know, just like feeling like you feel things and you think you're pregnant. It's just like you get get your hopes up and it's just, I'm trying not to do that anymore, but it's really hard. So I even convinced myself, I'm like, you're not going to test early this month. We're going to wait. We're either going to wait until you miss your period, if you miss your period, or we're going to like wait until the test like a day or two before, right? So um, <laughs> I'm at like nine DPO, days past ovulation, and a lot of people start testing around that time. It's usually like five or six days before my period comes. Um, and that night, I got some weird urge to test. I'm like, it's like late, <laughs> this was a couple nights ago now. Um, and I was just like, I know this is not the best time to test, like especially this early, like it should be your first morning pee, but I'm just gonna do it, right? I did it and immediately, saw a faint line i ran into yar and like i'm like come here come here come here come here like look at look at this i need you to tell me that i'm not like going cuckoo and like he's like no i i see it too i start sobbing like uncontrollable sobbing i feel like i'm having an outer body experience i know this sounds so dramatic but that's just really how i felt i was just like i've never seen that before like that faint line is everything like it's usually just like stark white like there, there is a line there a really really faint line and it was like immediate so i'm like it's not a water mark or a dye mark or whatever like I, i'm just i'm sobbing <laughs> like i feel sick with joy and i can hardly sleep that night i'm like we're gonna test again in the morning and see if the line's a little more dark or obvious and at this point like i'm kind of like thinking like oh my god like this is it i think i'm pregnant uh, and lo and behold, the next morning, it's just nothing. There is not a drop of second line whatsoever. Um, yeah, that was yesterday morning. And then I tested again this morning, nothing. And like my periods do, you know, in a couple days. And I'm just like, what, <laughs> what happened? Where did, where did it go? <laughs> and then I'm like Googling, I'm like, well, can the line go away and then come back? Like, it's just, was it a fault test? I don't know. Cause like, I don't think from what I've researched anyway, I'm not a doctor and I don't know. But like, from what I've seen, it's like, it's not gonna show up and then come back. Um, if it's a pregnancy, like it's, it could be, I don't know. I've seen a bunch of things. I don't want to say anything that's wrong, but um, it's just, it was just like so severely disappointing. And then yesterday I barely vlogged. I was in like a depressive spiral yesterday. I just felt so sad and I'm probably already hormonal because of my period coming and like it's just I, I know I know I every time I talk about this I feel like I 
sound silly and I shouldn't be talking about it and I just hate how taboo it is to talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it. And I know this is only our fourth cycle trying. I know it's so silly. I, I know there's people who try so, so much longer and I do not mean to complain. I just like, I, this is a very emotional process when you want it so bad and like, I think I think I feel a little extra tenseness from it just because you know waiting the year after the gastric bypass it's like it's been this like build up right of like oh once once we hit the year mark like we're going to get pregnant everyone's telling us we're going to get pregnant right away my body's in the best health it's been in a really long time it's going to happen so fast you know um so I think I've had like a mentality of just like really high hopes and positivity which can be great but can also be like devastating <laughs> so um yeah I don't know it's every month is just like that two week wait is just I know it's just <laughs> so I'm talking about this merely because I see so many comments of like thank you for talking about this this is how I feel I needed to hear this and I just want you to know you're not alone you're not going crazy it's okay to just feel so so much when you're trying to conceive like it's like oh exciting it's ovulation time let's get busy and then it's like the two week two week two week like can I test can I test can I test and then you test you test early because I know you can't wait. Trust me, me too. I know you do. And it's negative, and then it's just like pfft, your whole energy is just out. Like it's just, it's defeating. It's this defeating feeling. And every day you're like, well, maybe it's too early. And then you test again the next morning, the next morning, the next morning, and nothing, 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 nothing. And then Aunt Flo comes and you're just like, oh. And then your period already sucks and it's just even worse. <laughs> Um, but you're not alone. You're not alone. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, but on a positive note, I was at the gym and I got an alert on the security camera that someone was in our backyard. And I'm like, weird. Yar is on like work calls. Um, and I'm like, oh, the fence people are at our house. So that's a huge, huge blessing. I'm like, uh, God, the universe gave me a little, little something exciting. They were not supposed to come today. We didn't even have a date scheduled yet. It was going to be like closer to the end of the month and they're just there getting started. So shout out, shout out. <laughs> That's a positive. I don't know how quickly they're gonna be able to get it done. I feel like it's at least a couple day project. Um, but you know, they're here early. It's a beautiful day. I'm glad they're doing it on a nice 60 degree sunny day. So that's great. But I'm gonna go home and take a shower and um, get ready. And then we'll go get some lunch. Let's get ready to go get lunch with some friends. Your girl is in desperate need of some girl talk. I'm breaking out really bad and I just want something quick, so I'm just gonna do the Super Stay Powder all over. I've never done that powder with Hydro Grip. It looks so bad, I have to take this off. That was really weird, okay, take two. Much better, I just threw on a base of the It Cosmetic CC Cream. Now I'm just blending out my highlight and contour. Cherry Blossom Babe from Nude Sticks is so pretty. I mean, look at that blush. All right, we are setting with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, of course. Adding some Hourglass Bronzer in a little to my lid. Some Hourglass Blush on top and a subtle highlight. Of course, we gotta do the NYX Brow Gel before, after, and I just threw on some Thrive Mascara. Then Pillow Talk Lip Liner with the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump and Peachy Beige. Now it's time to touch up some curls. Okay, here is the Fit Check, Abercrombie Jeans, Veja Sneakers, Skims Long Sleeve, and an old puffer. I'll put it all on my leg. Now I gotta go, I'm running late, bye. Okay, you guys, I just had lunch with my friends. It was really nice to catch up with them. And we've got some leftovers for lunch the next few days. And now I'm gonna head home. The fence is coming along. I actually took a little sneak peek just now on the cameras and they're cranking it out pretty quick. I will say I'm very impressed. So I feel like they're gonna probably finish it, I would think tomorrow, because at this rate, they're like flying through it. So I'm excited, I'm really excited. So let me go home and I'll show you guys the progress in person when they leave. Here's a little sneak peek of the fence. You can see a little bit of the fence over here. So cute. It's Bruni's favorite time, his monthly Simparica trio. He's a good boy, he likes it. <laughs> I'm very lucky he actually like eats his medicine and enjoys it. <laughs> you guys actually loved his new haircut. Wait, are you not gonna eat it? Bruno, I just told them that you're good at eating your medicine. <laughs> oh, there he goes. 
Like you've eaten it for the last like year. I can't believe we've had him almost a year. That went by so fast. Good boy. But yeah, you guys like loved his haircut. <laughs> And then I felt bad for not loving it. Honestly, it's just it just took me by surprise. It's not that I didn't like it, but it really caught me off guard. Good job. Good job, Baba. Thank you. Good job. Um, it just caught me by surprise because it wasn't supposed to look like that. But honestly, it's grown on us so much, surprisingly. I don't think I'd ever cut it that short again. But um, yeah, it's definitely grown on us a lot. I think I would go like somewhere in between his longest and his shortest so good morning you guys i have to be kind of quiet because he's on the phone happy tuesday we need coffee i feel a bit more positive today although my pms is raging my tests are still negative so i'm pretty sure i mean you know i'm pretty sure i'm not pregnant but we're gonna let it go we're gonna release um, I'm a little sad because in March, um, I'm gonna be on vacation with my mom during my ovulation. So March is off the counter. I mean, we'll try before and after, you know, miracles can happen, but um, that week is really, <laughs> really the best week, but it's okay. I'm releasing it, letting it go, choosing to stay positive. The fence people are back, which makes me super happy because it's like rainy and just, it's not like raining, raining, but it's like just a dreary, like drizzly day. And I didn't think they'd come, but they're here working on the fence. So that's really exciting. Um, but, oh, he's going into his toy basket. It's so cute. All right, let's get some ice. I do officially get those people that like make coffee ice cubes so it doesn't water down their coffee. <laughs> like I get it now because it does get like the flavor gets different towards the end when it's like getting watered down, but genius idea, I might do that. Barista, wannabe barista. <laughs> My coffee straw is in the dishwasher. So, close second. Ooh, beautiful. Mm. Yes. So today, um, my mom and I are going to visit my grandma. My grandparents actually had COVID for the last few weeks. Um, it was really scary, we were really nervous just because they're, you know, they're old. <laughs> um, and thankfully, they got through it just fine. They're very healthy, like, they are active and they eat really well, so they take very good care of themselves, so that, you know, gave us a little bit of peace, but it was definitely scary, like, when they got it, so. Um, they got through it, it lasted exactly two weeks for them to finally test negative. Um, but they had like really bad cough, congestion, and like phlegm and stuff, but they're, they're okay. I also have been getting a lot of questions lately about where is Max? I thought I've like talked about it, but Max is often at my grandparents now because my mom, A, got a new job. Um, you know, she's been working as a bridal stylist and she works a ton of hours. So, um, Max can't be alone for that long, A, and B, even before my mom got this job, Mimi Loki stole him from her. <laughs> Mimi loves Max. Like when I say loves Max, loves Max and brings her so much joy. Like my mom would be like, okay, I'm gonna take the dog next week. Is that okay? And Mimi would be like, can I keep him a little longer? <laughs> so my mom's kind of like, let Mimi take him the majority of the time just because it makes Mimi really happy. And like my mom works so many hours anyway. So that's kind of what's happened with Max, but he's still part of the fam. We still see him all the time. And my mom does still take him from time to time, but like seriously, she's just been working like a lot. So, okay, so my oven just got preheated. I need to make more of my egg bites. I've been out for a few days and I need them. So first up, we gotta get some turkey bacon cooked up. I gotta make a mixture of eggs and egg whites. Gotta get my jalapenos, jalapenos. And I feel like I'm gonna switch it up and do cheddar. I've been doing like a mixed blend of cheese, but I feel like cheddar would just hit a little different. So, all right, you know the drill. I've done this so many times, I'm not gonna bore you. These came out so beautiful. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Last time we added a cottage cheese and blended it up, but I didn't have any. I forgot to get more. Um, it definitely made it like extra creamy, fluffy, more protein. 
So if you can do it with cream cheese, not cream cheese, cottage cheese, give it a try. But I didn't have any today, but they're still really, really good. You can't beat it. You just can't. Hi, Doodle. The vlog is like, where's Max? Where's Max? Here's Max. He's white here. He's white here with my <laughs> arms. My arms are tired. He has an appointment. Can we talk about how they look the same? <laughs> Good morning, happy Wednesday. I am about to head out to the gym. Bruno and Yarmin are in the garage. <laughs> He's working out and Bruno is with him. Look how freaking cute I got this top from Fabletics. Isn't that fun? I got um, different colors and patterns and I also bought some new leggings from Fabletics because I had some from back when I worked with them and they were 2X and they were just like a little too big so the 1X is like perfect now wearing the new hokas. So I'm gonna link these pieces because they're the leggings. Honestly, because I've been wearing a lot of workout stuff lately and I'm sorry, like I actually, I, I know I've said a lot of things. The Lululemon is not worth it. The leggings, you know what? The quality is amazing. So when I first put them on, I'm like, oh yeah, I get the hype. But as I've been wearing them at workouts, they just fall down way too easily. Like they have that string in there that you can tie at the top, but then I just have like a lump here and it actually really bothers me. So I like that the Buff Bunny and the Fabletics, they have a more like a little bit more tightness here, not digging in per se, but it's not gonna like roll down and fall down. Um, and then my Amazon ones don't fall down either. If anything, I like the Lululemon tops. I don't know, we're, we're figuring it out. <laughs> I know you guys like the updates on active wear, but I love this top. It's so cute. It's like just got that little breakup in the back, has the built-in bra. I love this kind of lemony color. All right, so it's leg day. Let's go work out. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, so it has been Wait a morning, <laughs> let me update you. So I'm at the gym, right as I leave, Yar calls me and he's like, you gotta get home. <laughs> and I'm like, why? So we had like a water leak in the basement and the leak is coming down the wall over the electric panel. <laughs> so the Wi-Fi is out. Thankfully there was no, like, I don't know how there wasn't like a fire or something. It's really scary, but um, we had someone come and like immediately look at it. So they're coming back to fix it shortly. So our Wi-Fi is out and I had a really important phone call, like a video meeting at 11. This all happened at like 10. Thankfully you can like hotspot. So I was able to still do the meeting with like data or whatever, cause it was a very important phone call, but that went well. Um, I showered and got ready because I wanted to look presentable for my meeting, but everything is good. All is okay. Um, they're coming back soon to work on it. So I quickly ran to grab our Whole Foods pickup. We needed a few things, so I made it back right in time. So we actually went through that little milk, shocking. Um, and then I also got um, more American cheese, which we ran out of, which I forgot to buy. We've been eating a lot of fruit. So I got some more fruit. I love raspberries. I was checking to make sure they looked good. Ooh, I was excited too um, because Driscoll's right now. I saw a TikTok, of course, where they have out right now the sweetest batch version of some fruit. So they only had it in like blueberries and blackberries. I wanted the strawberries and raspberries, but they didn't have them. But I got the blueberry version. So I want to taste it and see is it really sweeter? Because like she said, they're amazing. And then just some like regular strawberries. So we got some more fruit, got more yogurt, and we really needed Yar's bread. So quick pickup order. So I'm gonna quickly rinse these off and try one and tell you if they're actually better, but they're like huge blueberries and we love that. All right, ready? Taste test. Those are good blueberries. That reminds me of, um, I used to get at Wegmans, sometimes they'd have jumbo blueberries. They taste like that. So really good. Okay, so that's the update. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I really need to edit it. Um, I'll do the fence reveal in the next vlog because I feel like they're gonna be here most of the day because it's already noon and they still have a lot left. They might not even finish today, but I am really excited to show you guys. It's looking so good. 
Um, and thank you guys for watching this vlog. I love you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye.